Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Liz, and in today's video, I'm gonna show you how I updated my bench for a fraction of the cost. I have been looking to change out my bench now for, I would say about six months, but I love the size of it. I love how well it fits underneath the picture frames that I have in my front entryway. Okay, so when you come into my house, I have these pictures of my girls right here, and then this little bench that I picked up from Home Goods probably a couple of years ago. And this is the bench that I'm going to be making over. I think it definitely does need an update, but I love how perfectly it sits underneath these pictures. Recently, I was at Home Goods and I saw all of these new benches that they had out with these fabric covers on it. And they were selling these for like over $100. And I was thinking, wow, like that's crazy how much more expensive these are. I can totally update my bench and make it look similar to these benches. I was shocked when I was at Home Goods and I saw how much they were asking for those benches. Like literally, they were just updated with the cushion. So I'm gonna show you how to update these so easily so that you don't have to go to Home Goods and spend a ton of money. I wanted to address the pictures back here because I get a lot of questions because I have a lot of family photos in my home. And if you guys don't know it, I used to do photography when my girls were really young. So Annabelle's getting ready to turn nine. So like when she was born, I started doing it and I would take pictures for friends and I had clients that I would take pictures for, and I did a lot of printing pictures and making gallery walls. You wanna make sure that the pictures you're putting on your wall are actually fairly large. You would be surprised how small, like an eight by 10 actually looks on a wall. So I wanna tell you the sizes that I have for these pictures, so if you're wanting to do something similar. So my first tip would be pick like one scene, like a family session or something that you did and just get multiple pictures from that grouping. I think a lot of times that makes a really good photo display when everything is kind of from the same time or day. The colors are the same and it just works better. And you wanna make sure that your frames are similar colors. So you can tell this frame is a dark wood and then I also have a dark wood on these frames. So this main picture is actually 20 by 30. You wouldn't think that it would be that large, but this is actually a 20 by 30 picture. And then for my smaller pictures, these are 11 by 14. And so I just have those on either side. Okay, so now that we got that out of the way, we can get to making our bench. And I wanted to show you Moose. It's snowing here today, so Moose is having all sorts of fun. You say hi, Moose. Say hi. So this is my bench. I've had it probably five years. There's nothing wrong with it. It just needs to be updated a bit. So the first thing I did was I went to Joanne's and I picked up a foam mat that they cut by the yard. I got the two inch kind and um, I had them cut it down exactly the length that I needed, which was 41 inches. It was on sale, it ended up being around $22. And I'm not gonna use the whole thing, so I'll have some for another project because you can see it's a little bit longer. So I'm just going to lay that out and get ready to cut. first thing I'm going to do is just make sure that it's actually the right length that I need, which it actually looks really great. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do is just measure my bench so that I know how long I need to cut my foam. And it's measuring right under 12 inches. Okay. My next step is just to figure out how long I need to make it to cut. So I'm just gonna put little hash marks all the way down. Okay, now I'm gonna put my mat down and I'm just gonna line up the different marks. And from there, I'll just draw a straight line across. You can see I have enough that I could recover another bench. So I'm just going to cut along there with just a nice pair of scissors. Now 
Now that I have my phone cut, the next step is just determining what fabric you want to cover it with. Now I wanted something really inexpensive. So I actually went into my closet and found a throw that I'm no longer using that I thought would be great for this. It's a thicker fabric. And so I think it works well in like a home decor bench setting. I actually saw several of these on clearance at Home Goods, and I was going to pick one up, but then I thought, hey, I have that one blanket in my closet that I could use. So I'm gonna be using this. If you didn't wanna use a blanket, you could always use any sort of fabric, or just think about something maybe that you have on hand that you could go ahead and use. Now, since my blanket has a nice pattern on it, I kind of need to figure out, before I make any cuts, which pattern I want to be sitting on top. So I was looking at this a little bit last night and I think what I would like to do is have this stripe come across the front and then I'm going to tuck this and then have it go like so. Now another thing you could always add in is your fringe. I have a dog and so for me it just isn't a good idea to have fringe dangling from a blanket, but you could totally do that if you'd prefer to do that. Okay, so I'm gonna end up wrapping this all the way around the back. So what I'm gonna do next is just pull it up and I'm just going to wrap it up kind of like a present to give me an idea of where I need to roughly cut this. So I'm going to cut right there. Since I have these stripes, I don't necessarily um, need to draw a line, so I'm just going to cut it across. I also am going to just cut off the fringe because I don't really want to mess with that, but I'm going to cut it off neatly so that if I want to use it for a future project, I can. Like I could always sew this into a pillow or so many different things. Now that I have it cut apart, I want to line it up exactly where I want it to be. This front part is kind of my crucial part right here because I have to get it straight. Now with foam, it kind of pulls in funny directions. So just try to pick it up and smooth it out as best you can. Okay. So what I'm gonna do is add a little bit of hot glue to the edge here on the ends, just to hold it in place. And then I'm gonna flip it over and hot glue some more. So I'm just doing like a tiny amount of hot glue over here and I'll do the same on the other side. Now I'm going to pick it up, smooth it out before I glue it. See, I'm seeing some of the black over here, but it's not necessarily on this side. So we need to smooth that out. And then I'm going to pick up the ends, hot glue. Now I wanna continue on the back here, getting this where I want it. So I'm just gonna pull it in place. So next I am going to smooth out the top. And you want to smooth to the sides and just get it as, with stripes, you just want to try to make them as even as possible. And then once you've done all that work and you're happy with it, then just lift up one little side, glue it in place, and then do your other side. I don't like to do a bunch of glue or anything on the top because I don't want to see those glue marks. So I like to do it on the edges or the bottom if possible. And if I do have to do it on the top, it's only gonna be like just a little bit. Now I'm going to pick this side up and just smooth out the back and I'll pull it over and just kind of pull it tight. And then my next step is just going to be to hot glue this in place. I'm gonna go a little bit extra on the glue back here since this is the back and it can hold in place. Now that my big long sides are done, it's like halfway there. So 
So now we have to concentrate on the ends. So let's work on those. I don't like a lot of extra fabric when I'm doing my ends. So I'm actually going to cut off this part right here. The reason being is that it'll just bunch up and you don't need it. So I'm actually gonna cut a little bit more and then I'll just hot glue this piece down. So next, the thing I'm gonna do is just pull this in like it's a present. But you have to make sure that you don't pull too tight on your corner there um, because it's not gonna look nice. And then this is how it's gonna go over. So I'm gonna take, this is kinda like wrapping a present, but you don't want any extra wrapping. So take your glue and get this piece in first and just smooth it out. Okay, and now we will go and pull in the back piece. Now your back piece is not as important as your front piece, but you wanna make sure that it looks similar. The important part when you're doing this is you wanna make sure you don't have this right here kind of bubbling out. So what I like to do is just add some hot glue here. And I'm gonna do the front first because that's more important to me than the back side. And then I'll come over and do my back side. From here, I like to flip it over and check myself. So make sure I'm still looking smooth. You know, see what's looking funny if you need to pull. Now, see if I don't pull this tight enough, it's gonna look kind of bunched up here. So I really need to make sure that this is pulled tight. Okay, these are the Sherbonder hot glue sticks, you guys. They're like the construction strength glue. Okay, so I need to be careful and make sure I don't get this where, well, I guess this is on the back. Okay, so I'm gonna pull tight before I push the fabric down. Now, for some reason, I didn't end up with as much fabric over here, but that's okay. I think I have enough to make it happen. Wow, I should have been a little bit more, should have been a little bit more careful of making my foam go. That just barely made it. Same steps, just kind of wrapping it up like a package. Okay, so this is my final side. So I need to make sure it is pulled as tight as I need it to be before I glue this down. And this is probably the area that I add the most hot glue to. Yay, okay. That looks so good. Our next step is going to be attaching it to our actual bench. Now, the ones that I saw at Home Goods, I mean, you could tell they were like glued down and they weren't coming up. You could definitely do that, but if you wanted something that you could down the road take off, my suggestion would be to use some kind of Velcro. I'm actually gonna use these fastener strips that I picked up at Dollar Tree, and I'm just going to use them on the ends, and then I'm just going to put a little bit of hot glue onto my bench so that it holds in place, but it could be pulled up later. I found some Velcro at Dollar Tree for just a dollar, so I'm actually gonna hot glue it to my foam piece, and then on the bench, I'm gonna use some like mounting tack to hold it on there. Okay, so now I'm just going to hot glue these into each of the four corners. From there, hot glue this to your bench, but I'm gonna use some of this poster tack from Dollar Tree, and it's just kinda like a little sticky tack. You could use command strips. I mean, there's so many different things. Okay, so my next step is just to add it to my bench. Make sure this part is in the front. Okay, so after putting this on my bench, I noticed that my bench doesn't look the best. There's some like dings in it 
And so I wanted to paint over some of the imperfections, but not paint the whole thing. So this is kind of like an ivory color. So I took a yellow paint, and then I also have my Waverly white chalk paint. I mixed them together, and now I'm just gonna come in and cover up the imperfections. And you would never know that I added that. So I just mixed the paints up. I'm just gonna put it on areas that have blemishes and then I'll just blend it in and you won't even be able to see my lines. So here is a final look at how my bench turned out. think of these upcycling projects. I love the way it turned out and I think it was really cute and definitely worth redoing a bench I already had versus spending over $100 for a new bench. If you're new here, make sure that you're subscribed to my channel. I post three DIYs each week and if you missed our last one, I'll link it here for you and I'll talk to you guys in our next one. Bye!